Happy Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is kind of part of my jungle. You can see it a little bit. Um, if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I just have um, a quick unboxing. Not unboxing. I'm fine. Everything is fine. A quick repotting video <laughs> for you. So I have my um, Monstera Thai constellation that needs to be desperately needs to be repotted. And then I have one of my rescue plants. If you guys watched my video of like plants that I've just been struggling with lately, this one, <laughs> um, this Aglionema was on there. So I'm going to put you down and I'm going to show you what I am working with here. This is the Tycon that you could see in the frame already. So you're not really gonna be able to see me anymore, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I have this Thai constellation here that I got a couple of months ago now from Black Hat Gardener Shop. I have my mites going on over here too because it um, has had some thrips, which is unfortunate, but I've been on top of it. So it's been very minimal um, damage. This is the oldest leaf. It did not acclimate well, and that's okay. I am going to lose it eventually, but I'm just letting the plant kind of suck all the energy out from it. And it has this new one that it unfurled over here. It does have a tiny little bit of thrip damage on it. It's hard to see. It's more like on the back of the leaf. But do you see it? <laughs> it just like flopped over, and it needs to be potted. It is really nicely rooted in the mossy perlite mix here so i'm excited for that because it was like barely rooted when i got it and obviously we have you know our mites going on over here to help with the thrip issue so i did just get these clear containers on amazon and i'm really excited for these they are the perfect size for my small aeroids and this is the aglionema that we're going to be hopefully bringing back to life. It looks really bad because it hasn't been watered in a little while. So I was going to repot it and then like I didn't because I didn't have the dirt. But I'm hoping that maybe if we clean it up and get it into a different situation that it'll um, bounce back maybe. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. So... I have uh, my nice repotting mat, has plants all over it, so we're going to use the old one. Today, I left all my dirt over here, so I've got my usual, my Espoma potting mix, and I mix that up with my Better Grow Orchid mix, and my um, Soul Soils chunky perlite if you want to skip mixing your own soil soul soils makes a chunky mix that um is already like pre-made oh and then i have my worm castings put a little bit of those in there as well and here is the chunky perlite so you guys have been loving this as much as i do and I just think that's so great. So you should go and check that out if you haven't yet. So um, where do I begin? I gotta get this out of the moss. I probably need to wet it, but it is really nicely rooted. And I'm very happy about that. It's finally um, starting to warm up. So I felt comfortable finally giving this one a nice repot. I'm gonna just like soak this for a minute to help loosen it up, which is a really great trick to getting the moss off of your roots in case you were wondering. Just getting this perlite out of here. But I wanna be very gentle with these roots while also getting as much of the moss off of them as possible. It has a really, really nice root system in here. I don't know if you could see it. 
which just makes me really happy because when I got her, she literally just had a little nub of a root. So let me soak this real quick. Now we've made a mess, but the wet moss is gonna be a lot easier to get off now. I'm just kind of gently wiggling around in there. Um, I know a lot of people have this um, perception of the Monstera Tycon that it gets root rot really easily. Um, I guess I haven't really experienced that because I don't water my plants that much. And I do have them all in these clear containers so that I can monitor the roots, which is definitely a good idea for any plant. I like putting pretty much all my plants, at least all of my more like rare plants, I guess, into those clear containers so that I can really monitor what's going on underneath the surface. You know, if I'm potting up a pothos, I don't actually really care what goes on as long as the plant is healthy. I don't need to see the roots all the time, but it is nice to be able to do a root check on your plants and on your propagations. Like I used a clear one here, so I was able to see, okay, it's really nicely rooted. This was the original root, I think. No, no, had to be this lower one. I don't even remember, but it only had like a little baby root on it when I got it. So yeah, if you're going to get a cutting, I would say make sure that it does have some sort of like point where it's at least about to be actively growing a root from. This one started rooting up really quickly. She had it in water for like a week, a week or two before sending it to me. So not mad about it. I knew that I could um, trust her, that she has healthy plants. So if you guys are over on Instagram and you're looking for some affordable cuttings, you should definitely check out Black Cat Gardener Shop. I've done unboxings with her before. I have some more stuff actually coming this week. So you'll be seeing another <laughs> unboxing with her stuff soon. So I may or may not have gotten another one of these, <laughs> but there's other stuff that I'm pretty excited to get from her as well. It's been a while since I ordered anything from her, probably since uh, I got this babe. I might have gotten like a cutting of something small, but I'm not sure if I actually shared it with you guys. So I'm starting to make some progress on these roots. I'm trying to be really gentle. There's a lot more than I thought there were, which is a good thing. Happy about that. I just think the plant itself is going to do a lot better and be a lot happier once it's in some soil with some worm poop and all that good stuff. The Espoma soil has the like good, all that like good fungus in it or whatever it is too. The myco something. Mycotone. I don't know. It's supposed to be good for your, for your roots. So almost done getting all this moss off here. It is definitely a project. This is why some people don't like rooting in moss because it can be a real pain in the butt to get it off of the roots. But I just do really well with it. And I add in the perlite. The perlite helps um, break it up and make it a little bit more aerated so that it's a bit easier to get the moss off, in my opinion, when it's not just 100% moss. So, almost there. We got this. We want to get as much of the moss off the roots as possible because we don't want the, the moss to be holding on to excess moisture. Oh, look at that long one. I think this was the original. Yeah, because it was weird. I had to bend it back down into <laughs> the container and it gave me lots more roots but you see we have this one main root here and then you have all of these smaller 
roots kind of coming off of it, which is really cool. Really nice genetics on this. You could see all those stripes in the stems or the petiole, whatever. Definitely not mad about that. All right, I'm gonna give this one more rinse. I'm just kind of blast the roots a little bit with the with the hose in the sink, and then we're gonna get it potted up. I think it's gonna fit in here perfectly, and I'm really excited. Okay, that looks really good. Look at those roots. So healthy, and like I said, more root than I actually thought that this plant had. So I'm not mad about that at all. I'm going to mix up some of my soil. You guys know I'm pretty, I'm pretty lazy about it, and I just throw it together as I go here. I've made quite the mess. I don't want the moss in my soil mix though. Okay. Big bag of espuma. I got two of these. You guys would have seen at Paul's and Sandy's. If that's not enough to repot all the plants that I need to repot, we're just doing these two today. But if you guys want to do some repotting with me in my live stream, I think I'm going to do a Tuesday night live stream instead of a Monday night this week because... Um, my mom and my grandma are going to be here on Monday, and I'll probably be pretty tired after a day with them running around, but I am excited for them to be here. So, um, if there's no video tomorrow, that's why, <laughs> but there will be a live stream on Tuesday. Hopefully everything goes according to plan because my grandma hasn't been like feeling great, but hopefully they'll be here tomorrow, which means I need to clean the whole apartment too. <laughs> so that should be fun. All right. I think that's enough. We can do a little bit extra because um, we have two plants to repot. Okay, orchid bark, you can get this at Lowe's. It's also on Amazon if you don't have one near you. Helps make the soil chunky. It's got the charcoal in it as well, which helps keep the soil clean. A couple of handfuls of that. Our chunky perlite, because there's not enough in here. You can't really see it. Let's see my soil mix. little handful of that little bit of worm poop and now the fun part mix it up like a salad moss over here looks good nice chunky soil mix the Thai con is gonna like a nice chunky mix so that the roots can stay nice and aerated a little bit more of this yeah that looks really good you see that perfect we don't want too much in there you still want the soil to Hold on to moisture so that you don't have to water it constantly. Okay, you guys know how to repot. I'm gonna put some in the bottom here, about an inch or two. Plop this guy in. Get him to the depth that I'm gonna want him to sit at. And I'm gonna fill it in. Repotting is so satisfying to me. It's something that I always like avoid doing, but at the same time, I love getting it done. So it's a little, a little conflicting, but that's fine. 
I'm glad we're getting some of this done together today. Hopefully you guys are repotting with me. Let me know in the comments below if you are repotting some plants today too. I think it would be fun to do this together um, for the live stream. Let me know. We can make a plan. We can make a date to uh, repot our plants together. So that's as far as I'm going to fill it. I do like to throw some bark and stuff on top because I think it looks nice. <laughs> kind of use it as a top dressing almost. And uh, that's what we're working with. Turn you up so you can see better. Nice, clear container so that we can see what's going on in there. And she's looking so good. I'm so excited. Once I get her watered, it'll help anchor her down in there. I did bury her a little bit deeper than I would normally like to just because she's a little bit, a little bit wobbly. But hopefully once her roots take hold, it's going to make her much more stable and we can get rid of this leaf soon hopefully <laughs> and it'll look much nicer girl you're so cute okay i'm gonna put you back here for now while we try and figure out what is going on with this aglionema oh, such a rescue mission <laughs> with this one this is bad you guys this is really bad like worse than all this dirt under my fingernails i'm sorry if that irks you so I'm gonna take this to the trash and get rid of all of this terrible peaty soil that we don't want and um and we'll deal with this okay so who's surprised <laughs> it's stuck in this plastic cup but thankfully it's it comes right off so not a big deal but um yeah this plant has like no roots all the roots are dead on it so I'm like I'm actually oh no and that piece just totally came off and is rotted is it dry rot right that one's not coming off easily I might just have to throw this like in some water you guys I don't know if I can even repot this, it has no roots. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do with this. I think I might rehab it in water for a bit and see if that helps. And then once it starts to hopefully poke out some new roots, I just, I feel like it's rotted down here. Should I cut it? feels squishy oh. so dry rot happens when you don't water the plant for a long time and then you water it and the plant can't handle the roots and everything can't handle the the moisture it's too much and it ends up rotting so um that's a thing i'm gonna have to clean this with some hydrogen peroxide it just feels really squishy right there and i'm really tempted to cut it because it is healthier up here yeah i think i'm just gonna have to put this in water you guys i have these little um glass containers that we get pudding in and it would fit in there so i think that's actually what we're gonna have to do let me know in the comments below, though, what you think um, and what I should do with that plant. That's so sad. I really thought that it was going to have more roots than that. Um, but it was in this little stupid plastic cup. So, well then, <laughs> I guess that's it, isn't it? Um, so that's kind of depressing. I feel like I need to repot something else because I have a little pile of dirt here still. Um... Yeah, I mean, I can repot this little Hoya. If you guys want to do that real quick. It's just a Hoya latifolia. So we can use this soil. 
and just put it right back in this cup, but with some dirt. Um, it's not the happiest cutting. I had a different one up on my website that looked a lot better. I have lots of stuff that is actually um, rooting up for the site now, so I'm really excited to update you guys on that. Um, there are still a few plants in there if you're looking for a Florida Beauty, um, a Monstera Mint, Adansonii. What else is in there? I think there is still a Variegated Domesticum. So definitely go and check it out. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Um, all of my like cheaper cuttings and stuff, Hoya stuff sold pretty quick, like it usually does. <laughs> So there's only like more of, of the expensive plants left, but um, they're really nice. So there's that. I'm just gonna cut some little drain holes in the bottom here. And that's it, a little Hoya, Hoya latifolia, um, or macrophylla it used to be. This is just the green variety. It can get really nicely sun stressed, but this one came um, a little bit damaged. So I kept it for myself to see if I can get it to grow. I tend to do that like I'll take cuttings and I'll keep the ugliest one that I don't want to sell <laughs> I have that as like my hold back um, and then I just try to grow grow it out and get it to look cute so I still have these up on the website if you guys are interested this Florida Beauty look at that leaf absolutely gorgeous variegation and it's working on a new one this one actually sold, but there is another one that is a top that has new growth coming out the top over here. And then I have the um, variegated domesticum putting out another new leaf. I'm going to have to update the photo if nobody buys it. This one came in a little wonky, but the variegation is still absolutely stunning on it. It just looks like it got a little bit stuck coming out so hopefully this one ooh, this one actually looks like a half moon do you see it it's hard to tell but half of the leaf is a little bit lighter um their variegation takes a little while too when they come in they don't look variegated but it kind of starts to present itself more as the leaf hardens off so this one it is very difficult to tell with the lighting that we have here but it looks like a half moon. Half the leaf is dark green and the other half is lighter green. So excited to see what that looks like unless somebody buys it <laughs> before I ab I'm able to see it unfurl. But these are all really nicely rooted imports that I've had for a few months and they're all actively growing for me. So excited for those to go to a new home or to just stay here and keep growing if they do keep on growing i will propagate them um and make more plants so that's it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and repotting this monstera thai constellation with me i appreciate you spending your time with me today because i didn't really feel like doing this and i'm sure you guys don't want to repot all the time either but i'm glad that we got at least one plant done today <laughs> okay two we did two <laughs> there's so many more <laughs> but that is it for this video today if you enjoyed hanging out with me you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks if not, there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I cannot do this without you guys. There are lots of links for you to shop down there too if you want to support my channel um, and also get like some good soil for your plants and trellises and things of that nature. I do make a small commission if you shop through my links. So it's a win-win for both of us. You know, you get a great product. I get a little bit of commission and then I can uh, keep on doing these things with you guys. So, um, I love you. Okay. I hope you had a absolutely amazing weekend and that you've been enjoying some sunnier weather where are, wherever you are in the world. I can talk. Everything is fine. I think I need a new pot for this though. It's fine.
<laughs> I need to take a nap. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!